Hello again and welcome to Ndu Dubai Fafa. Hello family. Thank you again for tuning in for another exciting episode with Fafa. Now in my previous video, I did tackle this amazing green piri piri sauce which acts as an incredible marinade. And I will be using this in grilling my tilapia. Of course, using my new gas barbecue from Weber, which is part of the Genesis 2 series. Yes, I'll leave a link in the description box so you can grab yourself a great barbecue may i say look how juicy that tilapia is now of course if you watch my previous video i did make the green puri puri sauce and i showed you the base of it now i'm going to be adding more flavors in the form of cumin seeds ginger and also the remaining parts of my spring onions nothing goes to waste here if so far what i've said sounds great to you you can please do me that great service of liking the video yes subscribing if you haven't done so and also activating your notifications to also you do not miss any future videos so here i've got my tilapia which has been cleaned and gutted what I'm doing is using my knife to create some pockets, but I'm forming that pockets in a slanty manner. The reason is that would allow me to infuse more flavors into it and the fish would absorb it quickly. Yes. So once I've done that, I'm now going to be adding my holy grail of flavors. So yes, the green marinade goes into it. And then the next thing will be my blended cumin seeds, the spring onions and ginger. This is not any other food. This is in Dudu. By Fafa. And now I'm going to be massaging this beautiful marinade all over the fish, paying particular attention to the pockets that I've created and also to any crevices that the fish has. It's going in there straight. Boom. <laughs> So once I've covered my tilapia with my beautiful marinade, I'm going to leave this in the fridge for an hour just to allow that infusion to take place. 20 minutes before I start barbecuing, I will take my tilapia out of the fridge, bring it up to room temperature, and then I'm good to go. Family, introducing the new Weber Genesis 2 series. This one is the Genesis 2 EX335 GBS Smart Barbecue. Okay, so why is it a smart barbecue? Because it's digitized and it gives you a real time for temperature and when it's actually ready and you receive that notification on your phone. Now I will go into detail with that with my next recipe when I do grill some beautiful steaks. Yes, absolutely. I will be using my ceramic cookware from Weber for my grilled fish today. So I've lighted everything up and also placed some wood in there. So that's going to give it that smokiness. And here, my marinated fish is going in the pan. Now, in terms of can I place it directly onto the grill? Yes. And that is also another recipe that will be coming up. Yes. And one needs to, you know, pacify themselves whilst they're having a barbecue. A drink or two does not kill. <laughs> anyway, so with that, I'm just drizzling a little bit of olive oil to it. And I've added some courgettes. And yes, you can see some oranges there that I'll be using for another recipe. And yes, I'll disclose that at some point. Yes. So here I'm adding a little bit of salt to taste. And I'm going to allow this to grill and that smokiness infuse into it. And by the way, that orange flavor is also going to be infused into that. Absolutely. So I will check on it again to make sure that everything is cooking perfectly. And I could just see that it's sizzling beautifully. Now, this entire process um, just took me about 15 minutes. Yes. And it was at 200 degrees Celsius. So here... I I'm just checking and I was like, oh, let me turn this over. Um, yeah, would it work? Yeah, it did. But I was like, I'll leave the other one. Don't want any hassle. Don't want anything scattering. <laughs> but yeah, I just sort of like lifted it and I just knew that that needed a little bit more time. So yeah, let me leave that in peace. Mind its own business and I'll mind my own business. Yeah, in the end, it's still cooking. And yeah, I'm quite happy with everything. Now look at this. 
So here I'm just basting it with more of my marinade. Yes, and um, yeah, I think I'm happy. I've only got about five minutes left of this beauty. With regards to the courgettes, I used it in making some vegetable salad. It's got nothing to do with what I'm making now. But so far as I had the barbecue on and that smokiness going through, I had to infuse that. The exciting thing about grilled tilapia is it has to be served with some spicy salsa. And of course, I've got my red peppers and onions that are going to be infused with that smoky flavor anyway. At this point, my tilapia is ready, so I'm just going to remove that and place that in the kitchen whilst I concentrate on the red peppers, the oranges ready that can come out and also go for its own recipe at another day. And um, yes, let's go and blend my red peppers. So for the blend of my spicy smoky salsa, I've got my habanero chili. I've got some ginger there and a clove of garlic. Do not worry, I'd leave all the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog, fafagilberts.com. So I'm going to transfer everything into a blender and blend into that textured consistency. So if you could just go for that medium pulse, you're good to go. And just in case you need a little bit of liquid, just add a little bit of olive oil. And that is incredible. Add your salt to taste, of course. Yes. And you're good to go. So here is my pièce de résistance. Look at that tilapia. Look at how beautiful and juicy it is. I've just thinly sliced some red onions and baby tomatoes. Or may I say plum tomatoes. Baby plum tomatoes, that is. I'm just drizzling that over it with some olive oil. Their bake bake or the banco acla as it's properly known as red it's nice silky soft you know what i mean yes and the tilapia is like calling me and i'm sure it's calling you as well so yes thank you ever so much for watching this yes leave your comments below are you inspired to try your barbecue today or tomorrow maybe yes leave your comments i'd like to hear from you you will also find another incredible green chili sauce that acts as a perfect marinade i used it with my leg of lamb mm, delicious i'd leave links in the description box so you can familiarize yourself with it how about cooling yourself down with this incredible immune boosting vitamin packed papaya ice cream recipe? It's so easy to follow and I'll leave a link in the description box. You can also try my green plantain salad, which is to die for, and the grilled mackerel. Oh, that is great for any time of the day. Have you ever tried my sobolo recipe? Oh yes, and the alasan recipe, which is just packed with so much vitamins and nutrients, yes. In terms of stir fry, I've got your bulgur wheat, I've got your wacha, which is the rice and beans. And I have got incredible recipes coming your way. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And if you've not activated your notifications to all, then that means that you could be missing out on such great flavor packed dishes. Weber, thank you very much for my new barbecue. And it seems like these days I go to the fridge and I'm like, oh, what can I barbecue? <laughs> Yes. So anyway, I'll leave the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog, fafagilbert.com. So do check it out. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat as Indu Dubai Fafa. So pass by and say hi. Nural, thank you very much for my theme song. Now you will also find traditional African recipes on my other blog, indudubaifafa.blogspot.com. So do check it out. Until my next recipe, please take very good care of yourself. Be nice, be beautiful, be gorgeous, be kind to yourself most importantly. And guess what? I love you for you. Thank you very much for watching today. I'm humbled and appreciative of you. Thanks.